Hi, my dear students. Today, we are going to discuss the remaining part of the second unit, Wonders of Visible Light. We have gone through some of the wonders of visible light in the previous class. Do you remember? Reflection of light. We have seen the three types of reflecting surfaces. Plane mirror, convex mirror, concave mirror. Let us see the device that Aromel has made. Amala Biju has also made an interesting one. Take a look. Hello, my name is Amala Biju. Today I will show you how to make a caladioscope. For it, we need three rectangular plane mirrors and it will be equal measurement. I'll the first fix three rectangular plane mirrors of equal size and place it in, in a triangular shape. Then Cover one end of the triangular shape with mirror paper. Then cover this with a paper. I am using A4 sheet paper. You can use color paper and your favorite colors. Then let's cover it now. Put the color beads and color paper in the kaleidoscope. Try to take different color papers and different beads in it. Here. They used the mirrors. Mirrors reflect light. But only one surface is reflecting. The other side is painted. And light is not passing through it. Right? It is opaque. It is not transparent. Now, see this glass. Can you see inside? Yes, because it is transparent. Light passes through it. Now listen. Can you see this? How do we see the pencil? Mm, the light falling on the pencil is reflected to our eyes. The light is traveling through, through the air, right? The reflected light travels through the air and comes to our eyes. Here, air is the medium through which light travels. Light travels through the medium of air and reaches our eyes. That you have seen in the previous class, haven't you? Now, I am putting this pencil in this glass. Now, can you see the pencil? Yes, the part of the pencil inside the glass and outside the glass. Yes, how? Here also the reflected light comes to our eyes. That is why we see it. Does the light pass only through the medium air? No. Here, the light passes through the glass also. The reflected light is coming to our eyes through the air and it is coming out passing through the glass and traveling through the air, isn't it? Now, I am taking some water inside. Ah, 
observe carefully can you see the pencil inside the water yes now tell through which all media do the light pass yes it passes through the water also to reach our eyes can you find any difference in the sight yeah right the pencil seems to be broken where at the surface of the water think why does this happen is there any change in the direction of light when it enters from one medium to another guess yes or no if yes how is the change how can we find it let us see an experiment observe carefully here light comes from a laser torch passes through a transparent box filled with smoke see the path light travels in straight line now it is passing through the glass of water here is there any deviation where does it occur is when the light enters from air to water that is another medium is yes, it is clear that the path of light undergoes a deviation when ah when light travels from one medium to another light takes a deviation when travels from one medium to another this phenomenon is called refraction what is refraction when light travels from one medium to another its path undergoes a deviation this phenomenon is called refraction see a coin in the plate can you see it i am placing it here can you see the coin is yes. look i am moving it now can you see the coin oh no the coin disappears why now watch what happens i am going to pour water in now can you see the coin okay now you can see the coin think why see the path of light and its deviation try to find the reason and write it in your science diary now you see the fish in the pond is that fish at the same place that we see and find out 
write your observations in your science diary ok. Have you seen this? Yes, this is a hand lens you know. For what purpose do we use this? Oh, it is a magnifying glass and we use this for observing small creatures and also for reading. What type of glass is this? Is it transparent? Yes, it is transparent. Not like a mirror which is opaque. Light passes through these glasses. That is why we use this for reading. There are glasses like this, transparent pieces of glass. This is the one used in the hand lens. See its two surfaces, a thick central portion and a thin edge. The middle or the central portion is thick and the edge is thin. See another one, it is also transparent. How is its surface? Hmm. The central portion is thin and the edge is somewhat thick. The central portion is thin and the edge is somewhat thick. See the illustration. So, these are lenses, these are lenses. See the first one, this is convex lens. What is the peculiarity of this convex lens? A thick central portion and thin edge. See the second one, this is the concave lens. How is it? A thin central portion and a thick edge. Shall we try to make images with these lenses? Here is a convex lens. Shall we try to make images with the lenses? Here is a convex lens. See, we are trying to make image. See, oh, on the screen. On the screen. Nice. We get a clear image on the screen. What is the peculiarity of the image? Oh, it is somewhat inverted, isn't it? But and what about the uh, size? You make images with a convex lens, observe and try to find out. Do not forget to write the procedures, observation and your inferences in your science diary. Now, let us try to make image with a concave lens. Let us do and find. See, when I place a convex lens, the image can be caught on the screen. But when I place the concave lens, image cannot be caught on the screen. Why does this happen? Light is passing through both the lenses. But what happens to the light that enters the lenses? See, both are transparent. Here, light enters from one medium to the other medium. That is, light enters from the medium of air to the medium of glass. Think and guess what happens? Does the light deviate? 
naturally what happens is the light when enters from one medium to the other is refraction happens and if so is it same in the convex lens and concave lens is the deviation same in the convex lens and concave lens what is the difference in the deviation of light how can we find okay let us try to see the path of light that enters through lenses here we can uh, see the path of light observe carefully we have taken a box filled with smoke on one side a convex mirror is fixed and on the other side a concave mirror is fixed see the path of light the path of light deviates as a refraction takes place now look here this is the light beam that passes through the convex lens see what happens the light rays come close to each other that is the light rays converge look at the light rays that passes through the concave lens a concave lens separates the light passing through it that is the light rays diverge see the illustration what are your findings the light rays are converging while passing through a convex lens the light rays are diverging while passing through a concave lens so what conclusion do we reach yes there is difference in the deviation of light while passing through the two types of lenses that is concave lens and convex lens now you try to find the reason behind the difference in the image formation of the two types of lenses now we can see some situations where lenses are used in our day to day life camera hand lens spectacles etc we are using in our day to day life now we can have another wonder here take a look a great wonder of visible light what a beautiful sight the seven colors how does this happen when do we see this okay after the rain a heavy cloudy rain no after a rain and when there is sunlight in a pleasant atmosphere we can see can you find why does this happen okay let us try to find out through an experiment watch what abin is doing here observe carefully and don't forget to write your observations in your science diary see the white light is reflecting now taking water in a flat vessel placing it under direct sunlight then placing obliquely a plain mirror in the water to reflect the sunlight on the wall here abin is allowing the reflected light to pass through water too what can you see here wow the seven colors violet indigo blue 
green, yellow, orange and red. From where do the colors come? Oh, it is from the sunlight that fell on the mirror, isn't it? It seems the sunlight to be white light. Then why do you see the seven colors? Sure, the white light undergoes deviation and splits into its component colors. Now can you say how rainbow is formed after the rain and when there is sunlight? Here also white light enters from one medium to another. Write your inferences. See, this is a prism. See its faces. Observe it carefully. Place this in the path of light. Ah ha Beautiful. The seven colors. Name the colors. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Remember the names as Vibjior. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. See what happens to the light here. When it enters into the prism, it splits into its component colors. So white light is composed of the seven colors. When it enters into the prism, that is from one medium to another, what happens? Yes, sure, a refraction takes place. And the different colors in the white light undergo different extents of refraction. Thus, the seven colors are visible to us. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. This phenomenon of splitting up of white light into its component colors is known as dispersion. Now, can you tell what is dispersion? Dispersion is the phenomenon of the splitting up of white light into its component colors. Yes, here comes another wonder that light poses. Got it? The splitting up of white light into its component colors. Then, what can you understand from this? Yes, white light undergoes dispersion that is when white light passes from one medium to another, a refraction occurs and it splits into its component colors. That is, white light has the seven colors in it. Correct? White light has the seven colors in it. If so, think, what will happen if we combine the seven colors together? Guess, do we get a specific color or do we see each color differently? How can we find it out? Okay, let us try to combine the seven colors here. Have a look at this. Here, a disc is painted with the seven colors. Observe what happens when it is rotated fast. Oh, it seems white, right? So, when the seven colors are combined together, it becomes white. This was first done by Sir Isaac Newton and it is known as Newton's color disc. Now, there arises another doubt. What will happen if two or three colors combine together, not all the seven colors, two or three colors. Okay, let us see that also here. Here, see what happens when the two colors are combined together. So, 
these are some wonders in the world of light. Shall we go through the concepts we have studied in this class once again? First, a refraction. When light travels from one medium to another, the path undergoes deviation. Then, we saw the refraction of light through different types of lenses, convex lens and concave lens. Convex lens converges light, concave lens diverges light. Then the image formation. Convex lens forms a real, real image, then the uses of lenses, then came to another important phenomenon that is dispersion, splitting up of white light into its component colors. It is so interesting to do experiments in light. Dear friends, do new and new experiments and read such novel findings. Let us Pause the unit here for the time being. Try to do the extended activities given in your textbook. Let us see in the next class. Thank you.